What can learning science tell us about the role and value of educational technology in teaching? We asked Carnegie Mellon University's Ken Kadinger, who researches advanced software tutoring systems, and Marsha Lovett, who researches the application of learning science in teaching, for their perspectives on this question. A product cannot be evaluated outside of its educational context. The contextual factors are huge. So a product just can't be efficacious or not. <laughs> it always has to be contextualized. I'm, I'm a big fan of technology, but I'm not at all a fan of replacing teachers with technology. When it comes to sort of the whole game, you know, like doing a project in science, you want the teacher and a collaborative uh, a team of students working on a meaty, you know, maybe self-directed original kind of project. I think that's really important, uh, but they're not going to be as effective in that if they don't have some of the fundamental fluency in the math or science uh, skills and principles that they could be bringing to bear on that problem. They're going to have a much better solution if they have those in hand. The product that may look like it's effective needs to be incorporated into a teaching context in a way that works for that context, that supports the learner's goals, and that hopefully leverages the functionality of the product well. And so kind of looking at those factors of the fit are really important. So first point, acknowledge that the technology isn't good or bad out of context. And then once you put it into a context, think about does it fit the context? Am I incorporating it into the teaching so that it's not an add-on? We hear that a lot among students. I have all these technologies I'm supposed to use. I don't know what I'm supposed to use when. I don't see the value. Clearly the technology hasn't been incorporated well enough and it's not allowed then to express its full potential. You can think of it as algebra is like you got to convert this problem in English into this new language. It could be Greek, right? And the hard part of doing that, if you don't know much Greek, is learning the Greek. So here we gave more practice on the Greek part and, and isolated and focused it. You could spend more time working on the hard thing instead of, you know, a lot of students, especially some of the you're sort of medium the good students, right? They get bogged down because, oh, you have to do the same thing over and over again, right? But when you focus on what, what's troubling and you can help them get better at it, that's, that's actually quite uh, motivating in itself. But also, it would be really a shame if a technology were incorporated into a class and even incentivized and set up to be really embedded, but it didn't really support the learning goals that students were supposed to achieve. So really looking for that fit. How are the technology's features going to support student learning? We, we know that to become an expert in something, it really takes a, a lot of practice. You want to be good at basketball, you got to shoot a lot of three, three free throws. You want to be good at basketball over the whole season. Um, this is a great example from John Wooden that he teaches his players at the beginning of the year how to put their socks on. That's kind of like one of these C's, like how many coaches worry about socks? Well, he figured out that one of the causes of failures in his teams is he's got great players sitting on the bench midway through the season because they have blisters on their feet, right? So he spends some isolated practice time on putting on your socks, smoothing them, making sure the tongue on your shoe is right, making sure the shoes are tight, you know. To use that analogy, you do some isolated practice. These computer-based systems can really, you know, leverage the teacher because they can provide that individualized feedback, right, uh, for every student that needs it and move at different paces to get those basics. But yeah, then you play basketball. And that's where the, you know, the, 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 the teacher, coach can really uh, shine uh, in a way that the technology can't.